This video will show you how to save map searches, favourite properties and applications, and create email alerts in Development Eye. To access these features, you will need to log in using your My Council account. Select Login in the top right hand corner of the home screen. You are then presented with a screen to sign in with your existing account. If you have a My Council account, please enter your details in the sections provided. If you do not have a My Council account, click Sign Up Now and follow the prompts. Once you are signed in, you will see you are recognised by your user profile. Now you can access the saved searches and alerts features in Development Eye. There are three types of saved searches and alerts. Saving a map search, favouriting a property and favouriting an application. Each time you save a search and create an alert, these are saved under your profile. You can access and edit these easily by clicking on the Saved Searches and Current Alerts button. First, let's look at how to save a map search. Saving a map search allows you to save your map search criteria and get application alerts based on the filters and search parameters. You have the ability to capture any type of search criteria or filter, save it and return to view it at a later point. As an example, I have my filters set to In Progress, Development and Impact Accessible. Click the Saved Search button and you are then presented with a pop-up window that allows you to save your search and filter criteria. You will see each of your filters are noted. You can also give your search a name if you wish for future reference. You are asked if you would like to receive alerts. Because the filters are set to in progress, development, Development Eye has asked if you would like to receive alerts about any new development applications with this search criteria. In other words, you will be emailed when an impact accessible development application is lodged in the Sunshine Coast local government area. You can choose to not receive alerts or receive them daily or weekly. Once you are done, click save and your selection is saved. Now let's say you want to change some of your parameters and look at Budroom, but instead of applications in progress, you change this to be filtered by decided or past. Let's also just make it any assessment level. Click the Save Search button. You will now notice the Save Search pop-up screen has adjusted the filters to decided or past development applications in Budroom. Because the filter is on decided or passed, the criteria has changed and now you can choose to receive alerts for any decided development applications rather than new development applications. Once you are done, click save and your selection is saved. Let's now look at how to favourite a property and be able to be notified of applications on or around a property. First, to go to a property, this might be your home address or property you have an interest in. You can do this by navigating to the site on the map or dropping a pin or searching for it in the search panel at the top of the screen. For this example, we will use the council building in Nambour. Once you have located a property, select it and you will then notice that it will appear in the list view and be highlighted on the map. To favourite this property, Click the star button in the list view, property pop-up or on the property details screen. When you click on the star, a pop-up will appear confirming if you wish to save the property. You can give it a name if you wish. You are then asked if you would like to receive alerts about any new applications around this search. You can choose to not receive alerts or choose to receive them daily or weekly. Be aware that you will only receive alerts when new activity happens. Choose the type of applications you would like to receive alerts for and set a radius for these. If you choose zero kilometres, you will only receive alerts on applications for the property itself. Once you are done, click save and your selection is saved. Notice how the star is now highlighted in the list view to recognise that you have made it a favourite. Finally, Let's favourite an application and set up notifications of changes to that application. 
First, locate an application that you are interested in by navigating to the application from the map or searching for it in the search panel at the top of the screen. Once you have found and selected your application, it will appear in the list view and be shown on the map. To favourite this application, click the star on the list view or on the application pop-up. When you click on the star in the list view, a pop-up will appear confirming that you wish to save the application. Again, you can give it a name if you wish. You are then asked if you would like to receive alerts about updates to this application. You can choose to not receive alerts or receive them daily or weekly. Again, be aware that you will only receive alerts when new activity happens. Once you are done, click save and your selection is saved. Notice how the star is now highlighted in the list view to recognise that you have made it a favourite. Now that you have saved some searches and created some alerts, you can access and edit these easily. For more information on how to manage and edit these, please watch the How to Manage Your Save Searches and Alerts video. If you have registered to receive alerts in Development Eye, these alerts will be sent to your registered email account only if there is an update matching your criteria. The email will provide you with details of the application or applications and a link straight to the details in Development Eye. The email will also provide you with a link straight to your saved searches and alerts page so that you can manage your email notifications if you wish to change the settings. This video provides you with a good overview of how to save searches and set alerts in Development Eye. Further how-to videos and additional supporting material is available on the Development Eye webpage on Council's website.